better at the pedal. First time I met Devin, again, I mean, I briefly mentioned this, but I was super nervous. Um, you know, you always have that feeling when you're like, I don't know if that person likes me, something like that. Or I don't know if they're just being nice. But um, yeah, super nervous. We ordered some Kyochon chicken. We ordered, we ordered a lot, actually. Didn't even finish it. And uh, we did it. We're at the end of the road. So we talked a lot, um, didn't really eat the chicken, just kind of left it as is. And it was about, we started talking about like seven, eating, we started eating and talking. It's about 7 p.m. Got to like two, 3 a.m. I was just talking, we were both super nervous. I kept going in the restroom, pep talking myself. Um, <laughs> yeah, hoping that everything would work out. And uh, then we realized we weren't eating, we haven't been eating for a while. Oh my God. I went faster. We realized we haven't been eating for a while and we've just been talking. We realized we've been talking for forever. So she asked to go move to the couch. And I was like, oh shoot, the couch. <laughs> she goes so fast on the bike. And um, now she's just in the grass. Good job. Wait, why are you leaving your bike? Why? Why did you leave your bike? We're almost there in the park. Yeah, we're, we gotta keep going down this road. So we get to the couch, turn on some Netflix. Um, I didn't have a, at the time I didn't have a television. <laughs> Who says television? At the time I didn't have a TV in my, at the loft. So um, I had this white backdrop and threw uh, Netflix on a projector, which is pretty cool. And, uh, we found Rocco's Modern Life, like an old type of show, but they came out with the new one. Drusilla's playing on the playground right now. So uh, yeah, we turned on Rocco's Modern Life. It was like an hour, I think. And we didn't sit next to each other. We sat about a seat apart. I'd say like about two, three feet apart. Yeah, and I was super nervous. Um, Man, just thinking about it makes me nervous. But yeah, very nervous. I'm like, I gotta make a move, but I didn't because I was afraid if I did and she was like, no, I'd be like, man, this is super embarrassing. This is awkward. It's like 3 a.m. in the morning, just got denied. So I didn't make a move. Again, went to the restroom, gave myself a pep talk. <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, I, you all right? Go to guy. Yeah? Cool, you ready to hit the road? Let's hit the road. Not too fast. There's a hill. There's... So I went to the restroom, came back, gave myself a nice pep talk, saying I could do this. It's like 4.50 a.m. in the morning. Again, super nervous, nothing happened. We didn't even get closer on the couch. <laughs> And then it's time for bed. And that was when I was like, all right, this is game over. I didn't do anything. What's up? Hi, we're in the neighborhood. It's right there at this actual... It's go time. It's go time. Anyways, we're going to bed. And uh, we laid next to each other. And I was staring at her. And uh, this was when I was like, you know what, I have to. It's 5 a.m. now. I gave her a peck on the forehead and the rest was history. But man, that was hard. It's just like all those nerves. I felt like I was in first grade again. Yeah. Super nervous. <laughs> exactly, she knows what I'm talking about. Um, <laughs> and uh, yeah, next day, Saturday, 
Um, wake up. <laughs> I think she had a hangover. Uh, but uh, we kind of just kicked it all day. And that's when we kind of started off our, our coffee tradition. So I have teacups. And I love the style of teacups. I picked up from um, some thrift stores. And so I would pour coffee in there every morning and drink it out of that. And um, yeah, that's a quarter, quarter a cup of coffee. And we just sat there and we just talked for hours again. And um, since then, we've always had our coffee tradition. Um, sometimes it's not in the teacup, sometimes it is now. Um, but we do every morning we wake up and we have a cup of coffee together and we always talk. Um, ask about, you know, how we slept, any dreams. I know it's super cliche, but I don't know. It's a, it's just become this tradition that we always do. Um, and if we don't do it, it feels weird. But yeah, it's always a great start to our morning. So that's how our coffee tradition started. And uh, yeah, so we had coffee for a few hours. I think it was like all day we were just kind of talking. Uh, we didn't do anything but just talk. And we realized it's dinner time. It's like five o'clock. So um, I didn't have anything in the fridge. So we got dressed and then we, we went to the Korean market in Koreatown. And uh, I don't know, um, my biggest concern was, man, I really want to hold her hand. <laughs> but then again, the nerves kicked in. And I was like, oh, do I ask? Do I ask to hold her hand? Um, like, what do I do? How do I approach this? And um, we got outside, and as we were as we were walking to the as we were walking to the parking garage, um, it's like a block or two away from the loft. Um, she held my hand, and that made it made me feel like everything was going to be okay, and that was the confidence boost I needed. Yo, what's up? Far. Way too far? Yeah. Alright, let's go. Do you go. want it when it couldn't find me? No, I found you. Okay. Anyways, yeah, she held my hand and I was like, okay, cool, that's the confidence I need. <laughs> I'm so lame. I'm so lame. But um, yeah. We got it. We got in the car, went to the market picked up what we needed you know I don't know if a lot of people think the same way about this but um, I think going to the market with your partner is like super romantic um, I liked it a lot and just picking out meats and snacks and that stuff um, I don't know if you haven't done it maybe you should try it you know what now that I think about it I think we went to the market maybe six or seven and then when we were leaving the market, it was maybe like 8 p.m. We were both kind of like, do we really want to cook the food we just bought? So we did. And we uh, we ordered some beastie tofu from Sundubu. And uh, picked that up on the way home. What's up? Oh my god. You alright? Oh, I'm not alright. What happened? I just want to go play. I'm gonna go play in the park with my friends. I'll be right here. Hmm? Yeah, I'll be waiting right here. We're really high. So we ordered some BCD Tofu House, picked that up, had that for dinner, and uh, we just, uh, picked that night, yeah, we just ate, and then we crashed right afterwards because we stayed up so late um, the previous night. Sunday, woke up again, coffee, uh, and the teacups, then we, I think we planned, yeah, we planned to go to the farmer's market. Um, didn't make it. Uh, again, we were talking for a long time. Um, it's like when you, when you start talking with somebody for the first time in person, you feel like you've talked so much through text and stuff beforehand that you might run out of stuff to talk about, but it was just so effortlessly, like it, it, it it felt so effortless and there was just so much more to talk about we enjoyed each other's company um enough to where you know we just, like i said it, it seemed effortless so we talked for a long time and then this was when quarantine was like really bad um in la and so uh, a lot of places were closed um i think it was takeout only and so um 
we decided to cook the dinner, cook the food that we made, cook the food that we uh, purchased at the market. So we, so we cooked the dinner and uh, we decided to get dressed up for like an in-home date. So we cooked dinner, um, ordered some candles through Target app, and uh, we had a really romantic dinner um, at the loft, and uh, it was just as special as if we went out. And um, yeah, that was uh, definitely a night to remember. Um, again, I think we, we crashed early that night, maybe around 11. Um, and just, you know, had dinner, talked, made some cocktails, and that was it. And um, it was really sad because uh, then the next day, Monday, <laughs> I think we both woke up with a hangover. But um, yeah, it was kind of sad because that was when she was going back home. Um, but uh, yeah, like, although this was like the last day together, um, it was still really sad uh, because we we're, we we're, it was really sad because she was going to go back home again. Um, but, uh, yeah, uh, I think the, the main concern was like, man, are we ever going to see each other again? And uh, she told me she was feeling the same way, but um, I was definitely feeling that really hard. I think from like Sunday. And, uh, um, yeah, super nervous that I wasn't going to see her again. Um, and it was kind of like, Hard to tell because she had a hangover, so she was kind of like, Ugh. but you know, when you're thinking like, oh man, maybe that's the way she feels about me. Um, <laughs> yeah, but scary, I guess. Yeah, that was like, uh, it was weird, like weird signals. But um, yeah, like when I dropped her off at the airport, you know, she wasn't in a rush to leave, and I was like, hmm, okay. She was pretty calm about it. Um, and she definitely gave off the vibe that she didn't want to go. And uh, we kind of like hung out right outside the airport, right outside um, where you go into TSA. Uh, she kind of held out as long as she could. And um, you know, she left when I got home. And then, uh, yeah, I thought that was it. But uh, definitely fell for her that weekend. And, um, you know, when I did hear back from her after she landed safely, I was like, that was it. That was what I needed. And the rest is history. So I guess this is uh, my, my side of the story of when I first met her. <laughs> Thanks for watching.